guys, yes. Um, sorry I'm doing a video before um we go to Utah. This is not the video we're going to Utah yet. But um um I haven't done a cook video in a long time, so this is gonna be a cook video. And I swear that we will like I'm i I'm sorry that I keep on promising that the next video will be um going to Utah, but I'm so sorry, but um like, I haven't done a cook video in a long time, and I'm doing these videos so often because I know we haven't been doing these videos lately. Because we're super busy, and... And we're trying to pack. Yep. We, we've we only packed our toys first. Well, fairy to land, have you seen? And now we're going to pack more today. Yep, we're going to have to pack our suitcase. We're packing a lot. And, um... Since we haven't brought you to Canada's Wonderland, which would be a big thing, we have to spend a lot of time with you guys. But we will spend a lot of time in Utah. But I know you're like being like, well, you said you're going to an amusement park, so it's your first time going there, so you're not going to videotape. And I'm like, yeah, I will. Just this last time I did it because um, I couldn't tape going on any water coasters. And the water, it would just be a water park video, really, so... Yeah, that's why I didn't tape, really. And if I dropped my phone on a roller coaster, it would have been bad. It would have shattered. And I had no more videos for the rest of, like, eternity. And so I get a new phone. No more videos on fairytelling. No more videos on stuff. Sorry, I didn't tape on Candid Wonderland. But that's not the point. We're doing cooking. Um, pancakes or waffles. Woohoo! The first ingredient is flour puff. One cup of of flour. If you're making it for like a lot of people, you can put like one and a half or two if you're making it for a lot, lot. But if you're just making it for a couple people, it's one cup. Okay, put that to the side. Next ingredient is sugar. Okay, so you put one tablespoon in your cup, or you can just pour it right in. And one more tablespoon. If you don't like it too sugary, it's one. But you put one more. Yep, I'm going crazy. Just a bit more. It's super crazy, I'm going. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, now I'm going to put that in there. Good. Next ingredient is baking powder. You put one um, teaspoon of baking powder. And then you also got to put salt. You only put a bit of salt. And I'm not just going to shiver it. I, you, if you want, you could shiver it. But you should open it. Get a tiny teaspoon. Take a bit of it. And pour it in. That's done. If you want to look at it, you can. That's all the dry ingredients. And then we mix it here. You mix all the dry ingredients together. Okay, guys, that's at least as enough butter that you should be putting in. Okay, we're going to open the microwave. Put our butter in there. And then you set the timer for... Uh, no, not 11 seconds. 12 seconds. Oh, no, that was late. <laughs> 12. Okay, hey guys, then you pour the butter in there. Then, we're going to go to our fridge, grab an egg here, one egg only, one egg, crack it, should be one crack so you know so it's going there, that's what my dad told me, okay guys, the next ingredient is milk, it's only three quarters cup, I did a bit more icing, but that's okay, you can do a bit more than three quarters. Uh, no, that's perfect. Maybe I did a bit less. Never know. Then you start mixing. Okay. There's all the ingredients mixing together. As they combine. Then it tastes so good. Okay. Now we put cinnamon. You can put as much cinnamon as you want. It's just a flavor though. Let's see. If you don't if like if you don't like flavors, you don't need to. 
also add vanilla. As I was saying, you don't need to put flavor if you don't like it. It's just for a little bit of a taste. Okay, I'll close those up. Here we start mixing again. Okay, it should look like this right here. It, it, it will just show all white if you don't put any of these, but if it, you do want some cinnamon and vanilla, you should see some little dots inside. Then you always have to taste it to see if it's good. If it's bad, don't throw it in the garbage. You can make it and save it in the fridge for your other families to eat. If you do like it, well, you eat it. Mm, that's pretty good. Okay, guys, this batter right here, you can either make pancakes or waffles with it. We're making waffles with our waffle machine. If you don't have a waffle machine, you can find another way to make the waffles, or you can just cook it on the stove and make pancakes. Okay, guys, this is what your waffle should turn out to be like. Um, Yeah, it's kind of messy. I put Nutella on my waffle. Not syrup. I know I'm crazy. But and you can put whatever you want. Yeah. And you have some milk on the side so you can cool down with a hot waffle and that's how you make it. I'm just munching. Very good. And that's how you make waffles or pancakes. And we'll see you on our next video, which I promise Pinky's right now, it will be Utah.